Hi everyone, this is Mr. Radical Ed again, and I think I found a fix for Battle Eye conflicting with OBS and XSplit. And I know recently there was a new Battle Eye update. I thought it worked, but when it reinitialized, it, it kicked OBS out again for me. And I also experimented with just using a standard account and issuing admin rights to specific programs, thinking it would alleviate um, permission conflicts and that didn't work out either but it gave me a great idea what if we can without hacks uh, prevent this elevated permission set that BattleEye all of a sudden gets now uh, prevent BattleEye from doing its funky thing and have Open Broadcaster and XSplit work again I think I found it I reproduced it three times and I will show you what I did follow along with me and hopefully it'll work with you so first things first we're using regular OBS I am at least the point five one and um, whether it's the 64 or 32 bit whatever go away and um, so you need to find the battle eye service so what you want to do is search for it so you're searching for be service dot exe for me on the system it's program files 86 common files battle eye or just search for it and you're simply going to right click to properties you're going to go to security and edit I don't know creator owner that's a new something or other okay what you're really interested in is the system and administrator you're going to deny everything for system and administrators and you're gonna click OK and it's gonna give you this basically saying if you have permission under another account the denial uh, overrides any permission you may have okay pretty simple now um, let's go ahead and open broadcaster software in administrator mode okay and let's pick a server any server I'm using breaking point right now yes the version of breaking point that has that funky code stripped from it thankfully all right we're going to join a server and at the same time we will look for it here okay it wants to focus on explore okay we we'll come back to the desktop and remember because my window capture software on top of OBS conflicts um, you can't see what I see when I go into the game but look by now battle I should have initialized and kick Arma 2 out and it's not it's not I'm gonna float into the game real quick and I see battle I client initialized right here 1.195 server requiring client version up to date and my GUI I've been recognized and I'm in the um, server lobby go back here and look at this I'm still OBS still has Arma listed now this is where I'm going to stop this and I'm going to grab frames with OBS and then I'm going to restart and show you what I got alright I've just now come back from in-game and as you can see OBS captured the last rendered frame which I was in the lobby and it was loading up the mission file for the game as you can see so battle eye was initialized I was recognized by the server I was able to join and OBS is able to capture now this is wonderful news I hope this has worked again just to recap go find your battle eye service locally on your computer make sure that the battle eye service is not running or else you won't have access to this you'll right click on battle eye service and you're going to go to properties go to security 
and you're going to edit permissions for both system and administrators you're going to deny all those functions modify read write full control you're going to click deny on all those things if I have this still up here so properties security you're, ah there we go you're going to edit sometimes that dialogue changes system administrators what you're going to do oh yeah battle I was still functioning Well, this is why you need to have the service shut off or else you won't be able to access it. But you're going to deny all these things. Full control, modify, read and execute, read, write, special permissions is not applicable here. And you'll be able to run it. So I hope this works. Thank you very much, everyone. I'm, I think we solved it.